Yesterday morning, when I came out to do some things outdoors, I noticed that the rear HVAC unit turned on for about maybe four or five seconds, then it immediately went off. And I thought, hmm, that's strange. So after about maybe five or 10 minutes, I noticed that the unit had not come back on. So I went inside and turned down the, the uh, thermostat in hopes that it will engage the unit to come back on. It didn't. So after maybe about five or 10 additional minutes, I went to the uh, circuit panel and noticed that the breaker associated with that unit had tripped. And that's something I had experienced before. About two years ago, during the same time of the year, the front unit exhibited similar symptoms. But in addition, we, uh, well, my wife smelled a, a burning uh, scent. So um, I immediately turned off the uh, front unit. And then after further investigation, I noticed that some items were burned. Those items were the PTCR and the hard start uh, compressor capacitor. So I'm assuming that the same is the case for the rear unit. What I'm going to do today is go ahead and go up and do an investigation. But before I go up, I'm gonna make sure I have some supplies. As, as well as tools. So I'm gonna go into my spare parts bay of the RV, grab this little container that has the new PTCR as well as the hard start capacitor. Um, you never know when these things will blow. I'm uh, just doing a little research online. I came across some folks who said that they've seen them go out on an RV that's less than 10 days old and they've seen them uh, the originals still running on RVs that are older than 10 years and so uh, there's really no way to predict they're going to go but, but the best course of action is to have spare on hand and which is uh, what I elected to do. Okay, I'm going to use this little caddy <clears throat> that has a variety of tools uh, some of which I'm, are, I'm gonna likely need when I get up there I'm gonna take this tile because uh, the top is somewhat uh, slippery because of last night's dew so I'm gonna wipe the, down the walking surface before I place uh, my feet there because I don't want to come tumbling down and then that little green foam pad is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use to to place my knees. Okay, the first thing I want to do before going up is make sure that the front unit is turned off and verify that the rear unit is off. And then I'm going to make sure that the main breaker for shore power is turned off. I'm going to use this A-frame ladder to transport my tool caddy, the towel, and the knee pad to the roof. And then I'll use the ladder on the rear of the RV to get on top of the roof. Okay, I'm going to use an electric screwdriver to remove the four screws that hold the uh, HVAC housing.
Okay, one of the important steps you want to take, and I can't overemphasize this is extremely important, is to, uh, you want to de-energize the capacitor. And I'm talking about this start-run capacitor. Okay, and the way to do that is to, of course, make sure that there is no shore power to the motor home. So you want to uh, disconnect the shore power. Then you want to discharge the start run capacitor by taking a screwdriver and touching all three of the main prongs that are on the start run capacitor. Okay, you want to do that um, again because it's extremely in, uh, important because if not you could get zapped. The capacitor stores electricity even when there is no shore power to the motor home. Assuming there's enough light to show you that there is a little screw that is holding a strap that's keeping the hard start capacitor confined. So I'm going to have to remove that little screw. It requires a 5 16th socket or wrench. Yeah. So this is the tool that I'm using to work with that 5 16th screw. Now I'm not going to completely remove it because after second thought, if I completely remove it, it's going to be somewhat difficult to get that screw back in there. So I'm just going to slacken it just enough so I can wiggle the capacitor out and then reinsert the new one. Okay, I use needle nose pliers to remove the wires from the hard start terminal. Now I'm going to pull out the hard start capacitor. Now I've been told that it doesn't matter um, which wire goes on to which terminal, but I just try to make it a habit of reorienting the new component in the same position that the old component was in. So as I took this out, I took notice to what side the writing was on and I'm gonna put the new one in with the writing facing the inside. And the next step would be to pull the PTCR out of its clip. It's resting in a retainer clip. The retainer clip looks like that. Okay, here's the the old PTCR. Now I'm going to note the position of the writing, which is facing down, so I'm going to remove the wires from the terminal and re reinsert the wires on the terminal of the new PTCR and then reinsert it into its little clip down there. Okay, the new PTCR has uh, the new wires attached and I'm going to place it back into the cavity within its clip. Okay, I've, I've got the PTCR back in its clip. Now I'm going to insert the new hard start capacitor. Uh, again, I'm going to rotate the writing to the inside and insert it back into its uh, wire bracket. This little strap is what I refer to as a bracket. Okay, we've got the 
Heart start capacitor back into position. Now I just need to reconnect the wires and I'm gonna have to do that off camera because I can't hold the, connect, the camera and connect those terminals. Okay, prior to removing the wires, I took note as to which wire color went to a particular terminal and I re-associated uh, the wires accordingly. And then everything is back together internally now. Actually, I'm going to test it out before I replace the covers because if something is not right, then I need to come back up and do a reevaluation. And there's really no need to have to take the cover off or covers off again for a reevaluation. I'm going to do a functionality check before replacing the covers. So far, everything is uh, working as expected. Okay, now that we've done a functionality test, I'm going to go ahead and replace the covers and uh, call it the day. One thing I do want to add is um, upon noticing that I was experiencing issues with the AC unit I went ahead and ordered a spare um, hard star capacitor and PTCR because I knew I was going to have to use what I had on hand and so when we get ready to leave and get on down the road if we experience um, the same conditions on this or the first unit, I have those parts on hand should I need them.